FNAF World is an RPG, and the way you're supposed to beat an RPG is by defeating the enemy. Otherwise, it's impossible. But every now and then, some madman figures out a way to beat a game without using one of its core features, which is attacking. I'm one of these madmen, and I figured out a way to be a pacifist in FNAF World. The rules are simple. I can't use any character move that does damage to an enemy, however, all bites and chips are allowed, as they are the only way we can progress through the game. Finally, I am allowed to use debuffs and stun attacks because they don't do damage, and without them, a certain puppet master would laugh and slam my ass against the fourth wall, which you will see later. For now though, I needed to start assembling the dream team. I'm uh, gonna start that timer as soon as I press done. Cool. This should go quickly. All I need to do is get the four main characters and grind for the bites. Everybody knows fishing is just absolutely thrilling gameplay. I don't have my camera on charge. If this thing dies, I'm screwed. Get in the hole. Okay, it should be in. Uh, yeah, let's get Neon B in that. FNAF 4 is my favorite TPX. That, that, if, without much thought, I love it. It's my favorite. Security Breach would be a second. But the glitch Security Breach, like I said. The glitch Security Breach, where you could break the game, I had a lot of fun with that. If we're talking, like, FNAF, like, FNAF, like, the lore and the horror and all that, then FNAF 4. But if we're talking about which one have I had the most fun with, Security Breach. Oh yeah, my thinking about not getting the Halloween characters is we're not getting the fan and that's an hour of grinding wasted and if I really wanted to do 157%, I'll do it at a different date. I don't want to do it now. If I really wanted to get the best odds, yeah, I, ha I would have to do that, but I really don't want to, so I'm not gonna. All I want to do is get the Scott, because if we get the Scott, getting the Scott gives us the most opportunities to beat the game. So the reason why I didn't do this sooner, or why it took four days in between the last one to do this, get out of here. The reason why it took so long is because I looked at the video after I got done streaming, because, you know, I'm going to turn this into a YouTube video, and the bitrate was just... I, you you couldn't see anything. There was like maybe 50 pixels in the entire screen and it was unwatchable and because well It's only 50 pixels if the screen is flashing a lot like right now these little bastards Make the bitrate go crazy that I fixed the bitrate problem this time and that it doesn't do what I think it's gonna do Is this quick start party good 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 We're gonna beat it this time. I swear to you that either we're gonna beat this or it's gonna get to or it's gonna get to 1 a.m. and I'm gonna be crying. Yeah, I've been playing Pal World a lot with my brother. Also, let's kill this auto chipper. Uh, I've been playing Pal World a lot, you know, the Slay Pokemon game. Funny story, I have all of the legendaries, you know, Jet Ragon, uh, the Meteor people, the twins, I think they are, the night and day one. And I, I, I have Frosty Lion as well, but interesting thing about Frosty Lion hard. Frosty Lion sucks to kill, even though you need Frosty Lion to, like, get everybody else. So, you need to get Frosty Lion to get everybody else, but Frosty Lion is, like, the hardest one to get because you don't have any legendaries yet. Anyways, uh, I was fighting Frosty Lion one time, and I got Frosty Lion to one health. I had something called a Mercy Ring where it wouldn't kill, uh, the pal. It would just get them down to one health, which gives you the best odds of capturing it. And I got it down to one health. And then all of a sudden, Frosty Lion does this icicle attack. And it somehow hits me. And I had a shield, but I guess, you know, the game just decided not to register that I had a shield. And I just died. I just died right then and there. My brother didn't get me in time. So... I, I, I died to a legendary while it was at one health. And let me tell you, I was so pissed off. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and fish, and then we'll get the armor. Or, we could save up and get that UFO quickly. But, the, yeah, actually, that's what we need to do. We don't need to buy armor. We didn't really even die until we got the Scott and the Owl. Shit. <laughs> okay, we got 391. We should be able to get a UFO basically immediately. Whenever we're able to get to it. We still need the fine characters and the run luck chip. And also the Freddles, and I think... 
endless speed. I'm dying. Anyway, let's fight the snowman. My plan is, as well, with not getting the Halloween characters, that hour we save, gonna put it all into leveling up. So, you know, we can get our team, like, level 30. And that way they can take more hits, they have more health. And if I'm extremely lucky, well, unlucky if I get fourth walled. But if I get fourth walled and I'm lucky, I'll be one somebody on team one will be able to survive it and I can last for a little bit longer. Hell yeah, we're making absolutely great pace. Oh no, right. Oh shit, who do I get? Holy crap, we need you. Actually, wait, no, we don't need you. He Again? Really? Seriously, dude. I'm not spending 10 minutes killing you. Uh. Okay. Why the hell did I go- Okay, are you just gonna keep coming at me until I kill you? I don't want to fight you. <laughs> Please. I don't want to fight you. Stop! Okay, what is this chip right here where my mouse is? Ever comment strong? Oh, yes, we need... End endo plush, please. For the love of God, I do not want to fight you right now. Have you ever made a YouTube on Tyken Sons? You mean the chipper game? Okay, endo plush, I swear to God. I just need you to wait until I get a UFO for me to fight you. If you're gonna try and make a job out of YouTube, I will say this, it is not like a learning curve, like starting out flat and then getting harder and harder. Thank you, Ken-san, for signing away your soul. Oh shit. Oh, we're so screwed. No, <laughs> no. There's no way we win, right? There's no way I can beat you. But yeah, learning curve on YouTube is not flat and then gets harder over time. It's basically this. If you are like genuinely trying to make a career out of YouTube and you're not just making videos for shits and giggles, the learning curve starts at 110% and then gets lower and easier over time. That's the hard part. I would say once you make it past 10k subs and you have kind of an audience, then you're out of the woods and it starts getting a lot easier. Before that, it's an absolute nightmare, especially the first 1,000. It is horrendous. I really do. Also, get pricked, Seagoon. Because like, there's nothing wrong with being bad at YouTube and then getting better as you go on. Hell yeah, we can get that UFO. Because with me, obviously, you know, I didn't start knowing how to edit. I didn't start knowing how to talk to a camera correctly. I didn't start knowing that, you know, lighting in the front really does make a difference, and then having lighting in the back really makes a difference, and having your overhead off really makes a difference, and having a, just a $100 microphone really does make a difference. And using a phone as a camera is fine, as long as you know how to configure it correctly. All of that's good. It's just a very steep learning curve. That's essentially all it is. Can we see you put the FNAF cosplay on? You know what, Stephanie? How about this? If the next character I run into is one of the main four that I need, I will put it on. I'll put on the head. I can't put on the full suit. Putting on the full suit takes like 20 minutes to put on and 20 minutes to put off. And it's unbearably hot. Yeah, they should. You're not one of the four I need, so I'm not putting it on right now. Oh, PJ, thank you for, for the dollar. Wait a minute, now I'm confused. You won't give me five bucks for gas money when we drive to Murfreesboro or anywhere. But you'll give me a dollar? I know that sounds really ungrateful. I'm, I'm, I'm actually sorry. It's just a joke. Me and PJ are friends in real life. So, it's cool. What is up here? Oh, this is where we get the, uh, the fine character ship. We're on the right track. You only had two dollars in your account? PJ! What have we said? What have we talked about? Yes! Yes, please! I need you. God, I need to learn how to breathe more. Because I keep running out of breath when I'm speaking, and it, it, it makes my voice go like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what should fans call me? Is it Splash, what most people call you? People call me Light, people call me Splash, some people call me by my real name, which, stop. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding about that. It's pretty public knowledge. If you're, if you've been here, you know what my name is. 
And if you really wanted to, people can find me because I'm still in school, so, you know. Father? Absolutely not. Do not call me father. I'm still underage. <laughs> I'm 17. I'm, I'm basically an adult. I pay my damn taxes like everybody else. Which, honestly, look, for all of those of you who are afraid of paying taxes, that was my number one fear for a while. All of you, all of those who are afraid of paying taxes, don't be. It's honestly not that difficult. As long as you have a normal job, like if you work in a normal area. If you're a business owner, or you have a business, or stocks, good fucking luck. I got no clue how to help you there. Do I watch Murder Jones? Yes, but no. I've never finished a full episode because I don't have the time. I really don't have the time to watch anything anymore. Dude, you know who is an underrated founding father? Father. I'm not Irish. You know who an underrated founding father is? John Adams, man. John Adams was like a beast. Also, hold on. Pause this conversation for a moment. We gotta fight, bro, boy. Get- Oh, you're gonna get wrecked, buddy. Holy shit, Chica said. Uh-oh. Uh, one moment. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> we might have messed up. Huh. What are the odds you think Mango will survive to beat Brow Boy? Not that good. I guess we gotta grind for better characters. Lincoln had the craziest presidential term. Imagine fighting a war of your time as the president on the mainland and getting shot short. Lincoln was a go-to president. Lincoln really was a go-to president, but everybody knows that. So like, there's really no point in me spending a lot of time talking about him. John Adams, dude, like j we talk about Benjamin Franklin, uh, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, we talk about all of them, but John Adams, man, without him, well, technically without any of the Founding Fathers, none of us would be here. What I mean is John Adams did so much more than what he's given credit for. He should be way more well-known, because, like, you have George Washington, the general of the United States Army, and you have Thomas Jefferson, and also Washington being the first president, and you have Jefferson being the third president, Writing the Declaration of Independence, uh, having the Louisiana Purchase, goaded presidents them. And then you have John Adams in the middle, the second president, and then nobody remembers him. He was the lawyer who defended the British soldiers who committed the Boston Massacre and killed uh, the colonists. Uh, he defended them, he won that case, and he was the main arguer for becoming an independent country from Great Britain at the time. So, absolutely underrated goat of a person. No, I mean, yeah, you know, all of them still had slaves. Technically, they're kind of bad, but for the time, they were amazing. <laughs> I think I need to go to this area and then go in the mine to get Freddy or Golden Freddy. Because I don't think we can fight Brow Boy without Golden Freddy. The Brits have been really quiet. Listen, man, we kicked everybody's ass in the Olympics this year. Like, I know we tied in gold medals uh, with China, but overall medals, we kicked everybody's ass. Please be Golden Freddy. You have jump scare, that's good. Oh, uh, let's go fight Brow Boy. Balloon Boy deserves all the hate he gets because he stole my batteries in FNAF 2 when I was little. I was just a little baby, and he came out of the vent, stole my batteries, and then I got murdered and got the bite of 87 from Withered Foxy. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, if there's like, a, there's a couple sounds in my life that I will never forget. Uh, like FNAF jump scare, uh, let's see, what else, what other sounds will I not forget? Oh, the iPhone alarm clock. Like, sounds if you hear them just, like, send you into PTSD mode. Balloon Boy's laugh is one of them. I'm telling you straight up right now. Nice knees. All right, Pluto, you ruined it for everybody. I'm taking my knees down. I just need to get past Brow Boy and Bubba so I can get to the gold end, though. So I can get the boss drains so I can go to Scott. How would I rate Escape the Backrooms? Oh, 10 out of 10. I love that game. That's not my favorite game of all time. Not by a long shot, but it is. It's a really good game for the price. I think I bought it for either six or seven bucks. Just absolutely amazing what's my favorite game terraria or the first destiny game one of those two have i ever played fnaf security breach 
Yes, Stephanie. <laughs> I like I like how pretty much this whole time I've not been paying a lick of attention to the game, and instead I've just been talking to y'all. I'll have to start paying attention here shortly, but for now, talking and enjoying the chat. Shit, I just realized something. I forgot to record my microphone. Well, guess I'm gonna have to use whatever recorded audio my microphone has now, and if it's quiet, gonna have to deal with it. Anyway, let's fight Bubba. Hey Bubba, you gonna instantly murder me? I should have done sludge, and I'm probably gonna die because of that. Yeah, should have done sludge. Shit. What FNAF games don't I have? I have all of them. <laughs> and I use Rainy Day too. Shit. <laughs> uh, I gotta start paying attention now, or else I'm gonna make stupid mistakes like that. Okay, now if we can keep Watermelon Freddy alive this time, we'll be golden. I don't have endless speed, I just realized that. For, oh, I got you. Ah, I came in underprepared for this. Oh god. Okay, I, I have Toy Bonnie on my team, so I can't move past this point. I'm gonna let him kill me. Without endless speed, I can't do this. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, endless speed. Where do we get endless speed? I know it's separate from strength and defense. Which means it would be in this mine? UCN is by far the funnest. I've beaten 50 others oh, endless speed. I've beaten 50 20 mode, man. You seriously have no clue how hard it gets until about 47 20. When you get to that point, it becomes a nightmare. All right, gonna do this again. I'm gonna kick Brow Boy's ass. Shit. All right, Brow Boy. 24 good experience. Well, that's good for Phantom Freddy and Golden Freddy, but I still don't have Phantom Puppet or XQZ. And I need both of them. My energy is kind of dying off because we've not made really any progress in a while. I will say, it's really depressing starting out live streaming because you're talking to nobody. You're, you're literally talking to nobody. So it's like, why talk? If you're talking to nobody, why speak? But, when you get that first person in and you can actually talk to somebody, then it really... It really helps out. Am I playing this on Game Jolt? Nah, I have the game downloaded on my computer, so... Hell yes! We need you! We got the third of the four... We got the... Th we got th three of the four characters we need for the main team. You just found a stream where Splash had a beard? Yeah, I do have beards in some of my videos and streams. Listen, I don't like the beard. Beard is itchy, hard to maintain, and in the summer, it's an absolute nightmare because I work in a factory where it's 10 degrees hotter than it is outside. I don't need you, Endo-02. Production. I'm not doing this again, game. You're giving me a lot of rare characters before you give me the four normal characters that I need. I don't want this guy. I want XQZ, and then let me move on. The second one was good, but yeah. Are you? Again, giving me all the rare characters, but you're not giving me the one character I need, which is XQZ. Also, I'm just gonna reiterate again. Remember my promise, I'm keeping this until it happens. 50 concurrent viewers or more, and I'll consider doing the 100% FNAF marathon again. I can't guarantee when it will be, I'll just guarantee that I will do it. Focus on it, and make it a lot better. Why? See, think about it this way, right now we would only be 20 minutes past the Halloween characters. And we don't need them. And I also don't need you, so get the hell out of my face. Please give me somebody I need. Don't need you, and I also just accidentally punched myself in the no no square, so. Ouch. Give me XQZ. That is not XQZ. <laughs> no shot. Okay, well, I got a character. I was about to say. <laughs> One more character. That's it. And then we're gonna fight Bubba. Guaranteed. One more. Come on. Come on. I'm like a. I'm like a. Okay. <laughs> and party uh, there's really nobody we can change that second haunting really could have come in handy so if we die 
I blame, and I just wasted my one haunting. Then again, I don't want to. Whoopsies. Okay, uh, big problem happening here. Can't use Mangle, so that's a no-go. And he just hit Golden Freddy. He died on night five to a bug. What are you talking about, uh, Into the Pit? Speaking of Into the Pit. Anyway, for those of you who weren't there during the Into the Pit live stream, I got all the way to the end. This, this It's patched now, after I do it. But when I was doing or beating the game, I got to the end. And in this room, a girl is supposed to spawn so that way you can move on to the final part of the game. I tried for an hour to get that girl to spawn. She would not spawn. And I got softlocked there. Which means if I want to beat the game, I have to restart from the very beginning. Unless they patched the save and the girl will spawn. Anyway, Bubba. See you, boo. Okay, that wasn't as intense as I thought it was going to be without the f XQZ character. Anyways, uh, we're going to take a moment to try and get uh, uh, XQZ. Please be XQZ. That is not XQZ before I move on. I... I... Well... This was not supposed to happen yet. This was supposed to happen after I got XQZ. Uh, I don't really know what to say. Uh, we, we just have to fight Gold Endo now because I don't want to give up a Gold Endo encounter. Damn, this bitch is really only at half health right now. Spit, nah, Spit's not the king of YouTube. He's the king of torturing himself with unreasonably hard challenges. Who is then? Mark. All right, Gold Endo, it's time for you to go, buddy. Don't hot cheese me, you just did that, it's not gonna make a difference. We've been on you for like five minutes, so... Toodaloo. I don't know. Toodle poo poo. Get out of my face. Right, we got enough for the big UFO now. Or the big boss strain. Eh, we're gonna go for the big boss strain. Which is in here? Yes, it is. New challenger, is it gonna be? I don't need Nightmare Cheek. Oh, it's Jacko Cheek. I was about to say, isn't Nightmare Chica the Halloween character? It's, it's Jacko Chica, not Nightmare Chica. Mark is like the classic Star Wars, Spith is the prequels. I've not watched much Star Wars, so I, I mean, I kind of get that from what I hear from the memes. God, I sound like a, a Gen Alpha kid right now, and I just hit my knee on the disc. All right, get this bit. Take off that, put you on, and then now we'll go to, uh boss or not the boss we'll go fishing real quick all right pearl give me money let's try that again okay good <laughs> but i lost my mind had i not gotten that one would have pulled my hair out anywho let's go get this golden box then we'll go to uh what is his name Right, we'll go back to the gold end, though. Get him. Oh, wait, no, we'd have to restart to get him. No, we're getting XQZ this time. Then we're getting the gold end, though. Please give me XQZ. You! I think I've encountered you, like, 20 times today. And I'm just now fighting you to catch you. Okay, uh, I gotta pee. So, I'm gonna let this play out. Y'all, uh, y'all make sure Endo Plush dies. I'll be right back. I've returned with chips. I've returned with chippies. Anyways, what I miss? Did we win? Did I get Endo Plush? I did. Good. Please. Are you fucking kidding me? You're telling me I got one of the two rarest characters to get in this damn game before XQZ? Is that what you're saying? Sync audio in three, two, one. All right. Uh, microphone is recording now, so hopefully it sounds better whenever I edit this, if I do do this. Also, get fucked, Fredbear. Please! You're testing my limits, game! You're testing it! You're so testing it right now! So we're missing Withered Foxy, Endo 1, XUZ, Nightmare, and Spring Bonnie. If I get Spring Bonnie before I get XQZ... I, I might punch a hole in the wall. Like, you'll see me run back there. Actually, there, that's a window that with those curtains. 
I'll just jump through the window. You want to see a hole in the wall? There's no hole in the wall here. You're gonna have to go to a gas station bathroom to see that. It's a special hole. Stuff comes out of it. You get a special surprise at the end if you try hard enough. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I didn't even blink all the way. That's... Fuck, I, I ruined my own joke. No, 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 Tiff Tiffany. Tiffany, no, 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 no. You better get the hell out of there. <laughs> Tiffany, I hope there's not... Yes! Fuck you! Sorry, Tiffany. If you see one there, uh, don't touch it. Get out of there and scream for help. Anyway, back to the game. Yeah! I can finally move on from this nightmare. You're gonna make the longest comment? I think it'll cut you off after a certain amount of time, but I guess shoot your shot. <laughs> okay, Watermelon Freddy, Golden Freddy, Phantom Marionette, XQZ, Phantom Foxy, Fred Bear, Toy Chica, Foxy. No, wait, no, I got this. Boom, 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 boom. Then boom, 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 boom. The only way I could do that was if you wanted me to, and you can just say you want me to, but you don't have a problem, you can always do yeah, yeah, John. Anyway, let's get that gold endo. Right, I don't have to run back and forth, I just need to... I just need to go in and out of my menu. You still don't know what's happening, PJ? Okay, in a nutshell, there are these characters on the right. Those are me. Those four characters are me. This guy over here, called gold endo, he bad guy. But he give hella money. And we need hella money to get these things up here. These eyeballs, that UFO, that B, we need money to get the good version of those. And those are what deals the damage to the enemies. These characters, because it's a pacifist run, no do damage. Only debuff and stun, that's pacifist run. We do this till we get to final boss. We kill final boss without using attacks from characters. Pacifist run complete. What's the best animatronic in my opinion? I'll show you, Tiffany. I'll show you exact. oh, I'm about to die. I'll show you exactly who the best animatronic is. It's this guy. I, I, it's hard to play and show this off at the same time. This is the best animatronic. Nightmare. Anyway, please don't die. Can I move the jaw on it? I can. Not like, I can't talk and- I can't talk and it move, but I can manually move it with my hand. Oh, also, I didn't do the split. <laughs> Get screwed! Alright, now we just gotta do that six more times. Uh, I'm gonna go get that UFO. Okay, got UFO, UFO, I, I. Now we just need that final eye. And we're golden. Oh, we only really need to fight the dude five more times, actually. Alright, we need Freddles. Uh, we should probably go get that. Uh, which means I have to go this way. Okay. Is there anything else I need? Uh... I could do Pizza Fury. Where do I get Pizza Fury at, if anybody knows? Because that'd be pretty good for me to have. It's below the tent that leads to the funhouse. Go outside the circus and walk in the trees in the bottom. Oh, shit, you're right. Okay, Pizza Fury. Okay, so would it be good if I had Freddle's Fury, Auto Shield, Endless Speed, and Pizza Fury? I feel like that's the best combo. Yeah, make sure you keep drinking water. Water is good. Water is great. Water is life. I'm dying, my voice, it's going out. I'm gonna talk like this for a moment, cause I'm a smoker. I'm totally a smoker, yeah. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, my voice does start going out after a while. How shredded are you? Good God. Also, I kind of refuse to say those words because after I made that uh, lanky box and Bebe the toilet video, my brain hurt so badly that I I didn't even want to do YouTube for a little bit. Believe me, like it is so hard to watch lanky box. Say Scooby Doo but replace the Ophany. E. No. All right, Golden though, where you at, buddy? I need you. I need you. If I get gold endo, not this one, but the next one, I'll dab. How about that? Are you f- oh, it! I really- I mean, it's not that big of a deal, I guess, but... I just don't like the fact that it happened. Fine. I will dab. Here you go. I did it. I regret doing it. Alright. One of the five gold endos down. Four more to go! Yay. Nick A30 is a baby. Ooh! Ooh! 
I wish there was a way you could disable attacks. So like, with uh, Phantom Freddy, not Phantom Freddy, Golden Freddy, I could disable Rainy Day 2. Or with Phantom Marionette, Hot Cheese 2, or Mystery Box 2. Would be great. Also, let's go Golden No Death number 2 out of 5. I will say this though, for anybody who is what oh wow, that was quick. For anybody who has watched a lot of my videos, uh, you'll know I made two Fortnite videos at one point. Those videos are my most favorite videos I've ever made. They were the most fun recording, they were the most fun editing, and they are the most enjoyable videos that I watch. Like, I, I made those videos specifically to copy C-Day's uh, editing style, and I think I did it really well. Those are my favorite videos. However, they're also the least popular videos on my channel, by far. Other than the OG videos, but we don't talk about those videos. Those Fortnite videos were amazing. I don't care what anybody says, I'm proud of those videos. Anyway, death 3 out of 5. Two more to go. I'm sorry, I'm having a stroke right now. Good. Thank you for coming immediately. Am I almost done with the game? Yes, technically. I have this gold endo, one more gold endo, then I'm on the final bosses. And the final bosses go by like that, immediately. It takes like two minutes per final boss, and then there's Scott. When we get to Scott, it's a gamble for if we win. But if I'm lucky, we're done by hour three. If I, I hope. Which means 45 minutes. Anyway, get screwed, nerd. Four out of five, one more. Woo! Oh, there we go. All right, last gold endo, and then we're done with the gold endo hunt. All right, gold endo, fifth and final one. Get out of my face. I'm amazing. I won't call myself a god, because that would be probably karma-inducing. Let's go ahead and get Fred Bear, so that way we don't have to come back. And then we'll go get the third thing, and then we'll go fight pig, pork, pig, pork patch. Not pig patch, pork patch. Yeah, we're in the ocean now. Hi, Pork Patch. I'll be right back. Where does Freddy keep his boats? Same place where uh, the women in bikinis keep their Pokeballs. If, if, if it's not obvious, it's up there at. All right, uh, Pork Patch. Uh, I'm gonna make you suck it. I don't want to. I don't want that to be my thing. Uh, I'm gonna suck you. I'm just gonna start. <laughs> Damn, you're getting melted. Make him bite the curb. Oh yeah. I'm gonna make you bite the curb with your already messed up teeth. I'm gonna knock the rest of them out. Someone started following my YouTube Instagram account. Okay. Not posted on that in like a month. And the only things I did post were dog shorts. <laughs> we're not fighting Seagoon first. Screw that. Seagoon will make me bite the curb. I don't, I don't know what they fed him. It's probably crack. Uh, get this, hit the button, and go to the snowman. Alright, Bouncer, you're gonna be good to me, right? Oh, yeah, you're good. Turn him into a snow cone and give him a queso. Ugh. Okay, bye, Bouncer. Nice knowing you. Hopefully, I never have to speak to you again. Hopefully, I can get a restraining order. Alright, let's go fight Seagoon real quick. Right, I think I need to jump scare Seagoon immediately. Like, right off the bat. Please don't kill me. Damn it. Okay, but I got you haunted and I have you jump scared. Okay, I should have this one. If I can haunt you one more time, I definitely have this one. And the haunting missed. Uh-oh. All right, that one hit. I won. Woo! That wasn't too bad. Even though Phantom Freddy bit the dust immediately. Bye, Seagoon. You're not a super goon. Oh, you're super goon. Not Seagoon. Probably would. Uh, why am I down here? Right overclock. Are you quicker than Seagoon? Holy shit! Uh-oh! That ain't good! <laughs> that ain't good at all! Uh... Why the hell did you immediately kill Golden Freddy and then somehow murder Marionette? Sludge you. Please. Haunting mist. I'm so dead. And you killed... XQZ. Well. We better hope Team 2 can hold off long enough. Oh my god, you just- You're double- Okay, good, never mind. You were double hitting Phantom Freddy, man. Good god. Anyways, yay, level up, level up. Good. Right, go back to the funhouse and... 
Yes, the security owl. The security owl is not a worry. We're gonna beat the security owl. What level are we? 23, 21, 22, 18. I don't know, man. I think I need everybody to be 20 minimum before we fight Scott. Like, I'm not- this- but this boss fight isn't intense. I'm not gonna try and make this any intense. Cause it's not- this- this boss fight is not intense. It's Scott that gets intense. Scott's very intense. The owl is taking longer than I thought it did. I mean, I knew it was roughly three minutes, but I think the fan really does make a difference. However, also really don't want to grind. I really, really, really don't. Anyways, Owl, you're dead. Aha, get fucked. All right, give me that 5,000 experience points. Or 10,000, I'll take that. Okay, so XQZ should definitely be level 20 now. Uh, how old is my party? All right. 25, 23, 24, 21. All right, it's possible we can beat Scott on this, but we'd have to get lucky. And as you know, <laughs> luck is not really something I'm known for. So three, two, one. Oh yeah, right, we got to do a whole cut scene. Um, five minutes. It should take five minutes to kill Scott. Uh, don't throw up, holy crap. We need jump scare right off the bat. If we can get sludge, cool. But if it lands on a haunting person, it has to be jump scare. I can't risk letting somebody die. Fuck! <laughs> well, there goes attempt one. <laughs> we didn't even get past like five seconds. We just started, and then Scott immediately screwed us. Close the game, not- Right, close the game, not to fight security. Holy shit, rocks rock. Thank you so much for that. Whew. Damn. You- You just saved me right there. Though, we might have to go fight security for more experience. I hope not, but we might have to get everybody to level 30. Which would suck. Alright, if, if I die on Scott in this one, though, I gotta go pee, like- you ever play hide and seek and you're hiding and you had the pee beforehand but you're hiding so now you're really nervous and you got adrenaline and then you really gotta pee? That I got that feeling right now. I, I, I gotta focus, I can't even really talk. I'm waiting on that fourth wall. Block that fourth wall. Block that other fourth wall. No. God damn it. I got close, but you need haunting. Point blank, period. You need haunting to prevent Scott from doing a melee attack. However, you need jump scare to prevent fourth wall. Correct. You need that. But. You need Sludge to prevent him from attacking you too quickly. But I do need to go pee. So y'all talk some amongst yourselves. What the hell are y'all talking about? Piss girl. P okay, I'm, 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 I gotta go pee. <laughs> we gotta figure something out. We need either a couple things. We either need the fan, which I would prefer not to get. I would really prefer not grinding for that fan. B, we try and get titanium armor to maybe survive fourth wall. On top of that, we level up a shit ton to increase our health. Because yes, technically this challenge is possible if you're like level 999, of course. But it's, I don't, it's not possible to get to that level. <sighs> what do you do, man? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Could we have Crying Child on Team 2 for Power Song? I don't think Power Song increases the damage of bites. But if that is the case, that would be good. So then we would have Phantom Freddy and Crying Child on Team 2. And then plus like a, a jump scare on Team 2 as well for like, you know, if I really need to figure it out. Okay, what level is our team now? 26, 25, 26, 23. Not bad levels. I think what we'll do is we'll fight Scott, come out, fight Security Owl. And we'll do that. We'll do that until we get it. Because if we do that eventually, eventually we will win. All right, let's try this again. 
Scott battle number three. Take and action. I accidentally did gloops on, and that's probably gonna fuck me. Or we died, obviously. Time for the owl again. Yippee. Hooray. Oh boy. You gotta be. You have got to be kidding me. Security Owl one more time. Or, or until we get level 30. And then after that, we'll go for Titanium. It's all just about luck and timing, man. That's all Scott is. Alright. Owl's dead. Got the experience. I know Phantom Freddy is probably level 30. Phantom Freddy is going to be nowhere near the health we need. That's why I'm worried about him. Alright, let's go, Scott. Round four or five or whatever the hell the number is. I've forgotten. Take action. And see, Haunting missed. Haunting missed, so we got screwed. Our jump scare is gone, so only Golden Freddy can do jump scare. Ah, oh, damn it. And he just killed- Never mind. I don't know what happened, but never mind. You son of a- Well. If he gets a, a jump scare, or a fourth wall, we're boned. And we're boned. 29, 28, 29, 27. One more owl. One more owl, and the majority of the team will be level 30. Alright, owl. Thank you for coming. Thank you for dying. Give me your experience, your tokens, and your firstborn child, along with your social security number. Do all that, and I'll give you a million dollars. What level are you at? 30, 29, 30, 28. Alright. Last try on Scott. Before... Maybe I could just quit Scott over and over again and just test my luck. Alright, haunting hit. Good. Haunting hit. You've got to be shitting me. What the fu- That's the kind of luck I'm talking about. That is exactly the kind of luck I'm talking about. I also don't think I quit in time to miss the the the, 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 the reset. So let me guess, I might be back at the owl. I will go get titanium armor and gloom song and have defense up. While we're at it, might as well do, uh, the fine characters. See if we can get the fan in the process. 20 minutes later. Alright, Owl, here I come. Here I am again, oh my lord. Alright, from here on out, we farm Scott. We don't leave the arena, we farm him until we win. Alright. What level's our party? You'll see 32, 31, 32, 30. Everybody's level 30. Alright, let's do this. 3, 2, 1. Let me just wait a moment for Scott to finish his monologue. Called it. Yuckin' called it. Something tells me a uh, fourth wall is about to happen. The haunting mist. Yikes. That's no good. Because XQZ is dead. Well, that haunting hit. No fourth wall yet. Shockingly. Still no fourth wall. I'm a little concerned. That haunting mist. We got a problem. I swear, right then seemed like a perfect time. Uh oh. Seems like a perfect time for a fourth wall. Holy shit, I intercepted that one. I'm gonna do a sludge again, I don't trust myself. Shit! Gotta switch to the other team real quick. Okay, well I blocked that fourth wall. And all the hauntings are gone. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! 
And as it stands, I'm pretty sure that's a world's first. After roughly eight to nine hours of attempting this, I finally beat FNAF World without using a single attack. Scott Coffin can suck D's nuts, and I can finally rest. That is, unless I actually want to attempt 157% of this, which is technically possible, but I would have to allow Reapers, and I don't even know if Reapers can kill the rainbow. I, I, I don't even want to think about it. But for now, I think I'm done with FNAF World. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.